what is it like to like go from having sex with people and then stopping and like like disciplining yourself into not keep doing it like what does the days look like like after that like when you make it i'm what, really what curious I, you also like said what is, like, what, is like mental, what is your mental experience of that Chase, i'm very you said curious that you were in a relationship how did it affect your relationship i mean i i'll go there i realized like halfway through the relationship i knew for a fact that i wasn't going to marry this girl and by continuing to have sex with her i knew that i was like damaging her long term and i knew that in all likelihood we would leave the relationship and she probably would remember me for the rest of her life and that might come up for her mentally and emotionally in her marriage right and like i know that for myself the last thing i would want in marriage is if like i married a girl but some guy that she had had sex with she was still hung up on him like emotionally and mentally that would that would tear me up inside and i knew that there was a possibility that that might happen so i decided to stop having sex with her and this was in 2019 in 2020 i realized the way that the world was going i want i really wanted god's favor over my life and for me honestly like having the confidence that god has my back is worth it so much more to me than like fornicating with women that i'm not going to marry like i i really really want an exceptional wife and i want god's blessing in that way so it's like okay like temporary sex with a girl i'm not going to marry god's favor in my life obviously i want god's favor in my life more so you would have sex if, you, like, if you marry someone, you're gonna have sex with them. I'm assuming. We're just or gonna have we're just gonna have a sex. Hopefully, what kind of question? Are you talking about primarily? I'm curious. Yeah, yeah, I'm curious if you no, just we're not. Never... We're not gonna have. You think he's gonna get married okay, okay, and okay. not have sex? I thought that's what it was. Well, it's, it's... Yeah, I wasn't really sure. Wait, wait, wait. You know, we're, we're not. No, Maybe we're not. Maybe this is like hardcore into something here. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not. We're not. We're not gonna have premarital sex. We'll have plenty of sex when we're married. But you thought he was gonna marry someone and not have sex with them? Yeah, I don't know. Some people do that. Depending on what your where your ass is coming from. As straight as I don't think they plan on doing. To to be honest, I wasn't sure. That as straight as that is, that's pretty gay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is pretty good. <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually like, I, I'm I'm really excited at the idea of not having premarital sex because it's such an excellent filter for whether or not you're right for somebody. Like the way I look at it, if I if a girl and I, you know, we're dating or I court her or whatever, and we we're not having sex with each other, and after a year or two years or whatever it is, I still want to get married to her. It's like you know, like that's that's the one for you. You know what I mean? And that's like the best filtering mechanism possible for finding a good spouse. In my I, I, I don't want to argue that. against you, but like I feel like I could flip that exactly in one eighty. I will. Where, like, oh, if there's a girl you've been dating, if there's a girl you've been dating for two years and you haven't her yet and what if there's like the risk of the only reason you want to get married so you can finally explore that and then after you do you're like oh whereas if you've been fucking a girl but you're Post still really love her after two years to, to be, like a really i want to defend you honest, case. To I be wanna, honest oh. may i address what he said first go ahead, go ahead. thank you you may thank you <laughs> he gives you permission <laughs> thank you destiny um yeah i mean like i i just i know how to read women really well and like i i cannot imagine a scenario where like i'm dating a girl <laughs> for two years and we get married and start having sex and then it just goes to shit in the bedroom. I cannot imagine that yeah. happening. And I have 100% certainty that it would not happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to add on to that. So, uh, and this is anecdotal evidence for sure, but the most successful relationship I, I ever had was when I was like... Strike me down. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hell. Uh, my, the, most the most successful relationship I've ever had was like when me and the girl, we were like legitimately, it was March 2016 until December. Yeah, so like nine months, we were just texting back and forth and like no, se nothing sexual, just getting to know each other. And then when we did finally have sex, you know, it was great, whatever. But that actually turned out to be my longest, most healthy relationship. And I would go ahead and add on to that, thinking that like I got to know her for who she was over text. And I got to like, like her and know her as an individual. And then from there, the sex was kind of like icing on the cake, which I understand in your world, like, and me too, like, you know, your girl, first date, second date, third date, it is what it is. But I think like when you kind of jump over the initial courtship to straight sex, like you can get blinded with yes, dopamine and, and serotonin do. and you're like, oh, they the do. sex is so great, even though she's like a lying fucking treacherous bitch, like the sex, the sex, you know, because you know, evolutionally speaking as men, like if we're having sex, our brain's like, you're winning, you're winning, you're winning, like keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to make it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to make a constructive come. point f to the overarching conversation. You guys have expressed a lot of concern for like the fatherless homes out there and uh, the breakdown of marriages and pe you know people's marriages falling apart. 
to what MLD was just saying, like I've spoken with a lot of older dudes asking them why they got divorced. And like, you know, th- I, t- I tell this on previous episodes of the podcast at my local gym, there's like six older guys that are all divorced. And when asking them questions like, hey, how did it get to this point? Five out of the six of them all said, yeah, we got into our forties and you know, that, that initial, that kind of like physical attraction, it kind of wore off and we realized beyond the sex, there wasn't much there in the relationship. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy to fall in love with somebody when you're having sex with them and you have that oxytocin rush, all the dopamine, serotonin, it's so easy to fall in love with somebody. And I think nowadays a lot of people get into marriages because they're having sex with the person and they don't realize that that is at the foundation of their relationship. And later on down the line, once that physical attraction has worn off, they realize that there's not a lot there beyond the initial physical attraction. And I think that destroys a lot of marriages and families. And what I've been describing, waiting, you know, to Uh not having premarital sex, I think that's an amazing guard against that. And I would say that there's probably far more successful marriages than failed marriages because people waited to have sex. I understand what you're saying. I don't want to get into a huge argument, but I feel like for the response... God damn it, this is YouTube. Get into that argument. Well, for the response for the, <laughs> for the audience, I feel like I have to provide a, another alternative. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like overwhelmingly, and I could be wrong. I don't know if there's like Dana, but I feel like overwhelmingly, no. sex in a relationship, whether you're having it or not, almost has nothing to do with the actual sex itself. That when sex starts to disappear from relationships, it's because there's other problems that are usually happening. And like a really good indicator yes. of if a relationship is working is, be, is that they're f***ing, but it's not because they're they're fucking because the relationship is working. Yep. But like something could happen where I'll use corny examples that are trigger uh, Pearl if she's listening, right? But like let's say like mm-hmm. guy's not cleaning up after himself, doesn't do any chores, isn't taking care of the yard, dumb shit like that can start to happen. And then you kind of like stop f-ing because the wife is like Fuck this man child, I don't want blah blah blah. That eventually that might uh, like uh, snowball into them getting divorced, and the husband might think back and he goes, you know what? As soon as we stop. F- Stuff started going downhill really hardcore. Right. And in his mind, he's thinking that's what happened. But in reality, the sex stopped because other stuff in the relationship right. stopped working. Mm-hmm. And that's 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 a fair point. And mm-hmm. and again, I, I that's there's probably a lot of relationships like that where dudes, you know, they just stop being on top of their shit and then mm-hmm. their wife lost respect for them and she didn't want to have sex with him anymore. And he might look at it and be like, Well, we stopped having sex. That's what made the marriage fall apart. Again, I guess my rebuttal to that would be like if two people date or court or whatever for a sufficient amount of time and they build the relationship off of that interpersonal connection, divorced from sex, like you're going to have a really solid idea of who that person is without your mind clouded by the sexual relationship at all. I agree. I just, you present sex as such a weird, like tangential thing. I think that sex can be part of how you build that relationship. It it can, can but but a lot of people get into marriages that they shouldn't get into because they're overlooking red flags and other things. Yeah, but there's also people that get into marriages that didn't even get to look for red flags. Let's just just add on to one point though. The, Mm -hmm. The reality is like as men, especially as men, sex clouds our judgment. Yep. I mean, I've stayed with a girl that I was like, this bitch is terrible for me, but sex is so fucking fire. I'm just going to stay really with the, you. That, I, my guess is going to be that's actually the minority of men. No way. No, I think, I think, you, no you, think, way. you think way too highly of men. You say? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on. And I, okay, I'm a... I have, okay, listen. Wait, Destiny, Destiny.